Hi guys, this is Duncan, and you're watching the third part of my YouTube feature series. These are people that are consistently making high quality content. I'll let this guy introduce himself to you, his comp help. Take it away, Jerry. Hi there, my name is Jerry Gonzalez, and I own the YouTube channels Comp Help, VV Phone VV, Jerry Games, and VV Animator VV. I'm honored to have the opportunity to make a video for the Mobile Phone 2003 YouTube channel. In this thorough tutorial, we'll be using a free program called GIMP to make a popping out photo effect. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so before we get started, we're going to need two things. The first thing being a photo with a subject leaning towards the camera. If this subject was uh, standing straight up or something, well, we wouldn't have a very good popping on effect. So make sure you get something along the lines of this. I know this is probably not even the best example myself that I took myself, but I mean, hey, you know, I just took a picture of my wooden mannequin and, well, alright. The second thing we need is actually a program called GIMP. GIMP is actually a free program, and it's a great free alternative to, let's say, the expensive Adobe Photoshop. So there you go. This effect can be done completely free, and it's really great. And the great thing is about this effect that mostly everybody has photos, right? You know, family photos, whatever. So here we go, and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we want to open up GIMP. In my case, GIMP 2.6. It's the version that's out right now. Okay, and all I want to do is drop in the photo. Just grab the photo, drag it into uh, GIMP here. All right, so the photo is now loaded, and we are ready to start. Okay, so what we need to do is go ahead and make a new layer. If you don't see this layers palette, what you want to do is go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and go down to Layers, or Control-L. Okay, so what we need to do is create a new layer. Click Create this little icon there, and just click OK transparent make sure it's transparent click OK great now on this what we're gonna do is go ahead and make the let's say photo you know like the picture the outline okay so let's go grab this rectangle select tool and what we want is something you wanna make it so it cuts some of the subject off okay so in my case I want what do I want popping out really I want some of uh, this ball to be popping out and I want the head to be popping out, and the hand, I can probably just cut that out. All right, so that's great. I like the way I cropped this. So what you should be knowing here, what you should be aware of, is whatever's in this, that's what's going to be in the shot. That's the only part that's going to be left in the photo, and uh, along with whatever parts you want you know, popping out. So in my case, this little mannequin hand right here, it's going to be cut out, because I don't want that popping out as well, because that's towards the back. You know what I mean? Okay, so before I confuse you anymore, what we're going to do is go ahead and put this to the color white. Or depending on whatever color you want. I like white. Um, you put whatever you want, okay? Just, in my case, I like white. And I'm going to go to Edit, Stroke the Selection, and I'm going to put this at 100 pixels. Yours may be different depending on your uh, image size, okay? I have a very large image here, so you may want to try going, let's say, 20 pixels first and move up from there, okay? All right, solid color, great, and I'm just going to click stroke. All right, so there you see, now I have a, let's say, photo frame, sort of, okay? I'm going to go to edit or select none. All right, so my selection goes away. Great. I'm going to hold control and scroll in so I can get a better view of uh, of this outline. What I want to do here is actually mask out this white part from uh, from the top of the mannequin right here. I'm going to hold down the space bar and without clicking anything I can move around my mouse and let go and I can pan around my image like that. Alright, so over here our new layer, I'm going to right click, remember this is where the frame is, right click and I'm going to go to add layer mask. Alright, let's click add. Alright, now the color black, let's get out a brush here, click the paintbrush tool, the color black will erase and the color white We'll put some of that, it'll, you know, bring it all back. I'm going to use my bracket key here to go ahead and make my uh, brush a little bit bigger. Go over to black, and I'm going to take out this part of the mannequin. Now, yes, I am going um, a little bit too much because what I'm going to do is go click white. And then although this is a tutorial, it's not going to be perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and try and make a little bit better like that. Okay, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this because it's just for demonstration purposes. You would go ahead and take your time if you'd uh 
if you'd want a better effect. All right, great. So let's go ahead and move over to this side or hold space bar set. Great. Let's go and get this uh, black. Start cutting this out. Let's get right there. All right. Go for the white color now. It's the great thing about masks, you know, you can you can easily erase uh, this frame, this white frame here, but then let's say you make a mistake, you can't bring it back, you know, and a mask is just a perfect way of, uh, of getting exactly what you want, you know, and allowing yourself to have errors because we all make them. Okay, I'm just trying my best here. I mean, I'm trying to go fast as well, so. There we go, and I also need a pin here. Okay, I'm gonna actually zoom in some more. All right. Remember, this is only demonstration purposes, so I'm not gonna. I mean, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. I do this nice and quick. Okay. Zoom out here, and you can see now the mannequin appears as if it's popping out from uh, the head and you know the arm and ball part. So, great. Now what do I do from here? What I want to do is actually erase this whole background here. I want to erase everything that has to do with uh, this picture. Okay, and to do that, what I actually need to do is go in and select this background layer and grab the Paths tool. Now I'm going to click, click, and I'm just going to outline uh, my subject. Okay. I'm very bad at the uh, pen tool, so please excuse me. I am cheating and I'm clicking a bunch. There we go. Now I'm going to right click and go to select from path. All right now, the path I just made is pretty much a selection. So, everything that is inside the selection is currently selected, and what I need to do is actually go to select invert the selection okay and now I need to grab my eraser tool or what I can do is hit delete all right cool so I have deleted that actually you know go right click this and add an alpha channel right click the background add an alpha channel and then delete there we go great that's exactly what I wanted all right now I'm gonna go to select none and one more little thing to finish off this effect is go ahead and make a new layer okay make sure this layer is under everything else so select a layer and click the green arrow to bring it down alright and now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a gradient in my case I'm gonna use a red and a black and there we go say so something along the lines of that uh, let's see alright well you get the point okay so there you go, that's the effect. And then if you want, you can do what I did, and I just added the words uh, Manny McWood, or let's say it's you, you can add your name. In my case, I'd be Jerry Gonzalez, all across, you know, whatever. So there you go, that's the effect. We can even crop the image by clicking the selection tool and, you know, just selecting whatever I need. Okay, make your selection. Great, uh, maybe cut off a little bit more, whatever. Go to image, crop to selection, and there we go. Now that's nice and cropped and you know you'd have a nice photo of course this is a a funny you know demonstration picture of course you'd have a more awesome object or subject file save as and you go and save your image as a jpeg whatever you need click save and you're good to go all right so there you go thank you for watching this video